All right, so today I'm gonna to talk about filler primer and how you can use it to get a really flawless finish on your 3D prints. Um, there's a few different types, uh, but basically what it comes down to is particulate matter. So however much it fills in all those little nooks and crannies and cracks and crevices and layer lines. Um, the best one is feather fill. So this comes in a few different colors. Um, I usually get gray, but they have it in white and black. Uh, it's basically spray on Bondo, so it will go on really thick and if you're not careful it will actually cure inside your gun and turn your gun into basically a rock. Um, this is used when I really don't have a fine detail print or when something's just really large or a really bad print that needs a lot of work. So from there um, I go on with this U-pull. U-pull? system, I build primer. Um, this stuff's a bit easier to work with, you have a bit more working time, um, and it sprays really nice. Um, unlike this feather fill, it sprays kind of chunky. This sprays really, really smooth. Um, so if you're going to use a, a spray gun, which one of these, um, this is probably what I recommend for just starting out. This is probably the best bang for the buck though. But if you don't have an air compressor and a spray gun, um, I recommend this uh, custom coat. Um, this stuff works really well. It's really easy to use and it dries quick. Like you can maybe like 10 minutes and wet sand it in the hot summer months. But uh, yeah, it works really well and it's really easy to use. Um, it's usually my go-to for um, resin prints. So I usually sand down the resin print a little bit and then hit it with this and then finish wet sanding it. Uh, there's also Duplicolor Scratch Filler Primer that works okay. Um, but there's also a couple other ones out there that I wouldn't recommend. So this is like Rust-Oleum 2-in-1. This stuff isn't very good at all. Um, it takes forever to cure. Uh, you really can't spray it on thick, which is really what you want for the filler primer. And like sometimes it just doesn't work at all. Like it will stay goopy and clog your sandpaper and it's just not recommended. If you're going to go with a uh, filler primer, just try to look for anything that's automotive. But the purpose of any of these is you spray them down and then you sand them. And they basically make the job of sanding any PLA or PETG or even ABS prints really easy. So if you hose down any of these prints, it'll basically take care of all the layer lines and then you just hit it with um, light sandpaper and that'll be it. I mean, like this is pretty much a flawless finish and this started out as a PLA print. So you can get really nice finish just by using filler primer and a bit of sandpaper and it'll really cut down on the amount of time you have to spend sanding. And I know that's pretty much the part everyone hates with dealing with uh, 3D prints. But yeah, um, this will be a quick video and I'll go over next time about sandpaper and other types of paints. Uh, let me know if you have any questions.